Hi everyone, it's Lizzie. I thought I would sit down and film a little, get ready with me and just have a chat as I did so because I wanted to film a bit more of like a casual, relaxed video. Makeup. It's fun. <laughs> oh yeah, I totally haven't uh, cleaned my brushes, sponges, etc. So uh, apologies for how gross they look. To be honest, I wasn't planning on filming, getting ready. I didn't think anyone would be judging just how dirty, say, this sponge is. Don't look at it. I only recently found out that you can also drag makeup with these sponges, and that is a valid technique to apply foundation. Oh, I just look a lot whiter. Because <laughs> hmm, I was always like, dab it in, that's what you do. But yeah, the dragging and the smoothing actually can work wonders. How attractive. Don't you love that when you're applying makeup and then all of a sudden your face gets itchy? For me, it's my nose especially. So I guess originally I thought I was going to film another video after this and instead of just doing makeup and doing that video, I would film doing my makeup as well. Then I got a little bit unmotivated, I guess. Is that the word? Unmotivated? Demotivated? And I didn't really feel like filming such... <sighs> I feel like it's an important video. Mm. Maybe not like important as such as, like I'm making it important, it's not really important. Like I want it to be good and if I'm not in the right mood to film, it really kind of makes me feel like, so why, why are you trying to film it then if you don't feel like filming it because you're just going to ruin it. Well, not ruin it exactly, but you know, won't be as good as it could be. Oh, that pimple. What an annoying bloody thing that was. See this concealer, because it's so creamy, I feel like I have to dab it in. Especially because it's on top of foundation already. Ugh. Dab, 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 Wow, I look really super pale. Yay, paleness. We don't set that just yet. Instead, we make sure that people can see our cheekbones. So. I feel like I've been really, really busy lately, and I I enjoy that, to be honest, I really do, but at the same time, I've also been really tired. That part's not so fun, I don't enjoy the tiredness. Ooh, look at that. And then we have to make sure we have a jawline somewhere, instead of several chins. And I don't like making excuses for not making videos and doing things because I really like making videos, I like sharing them, and I mean, why not? I started doing it, and now I can't find the time for it. I'm trying to make the time, so even though <laughs> I've said that I probably will not be filming this other video afterwards, like originally planned, I'm still gonna do other things today, so I'm not doing makeup for nothing, but then I kind of am. <laughs> bit of colour, yeah. Hopefully though, uh, it's gonna make me feel a little bit better, and that's always good, right? When I'm not in like the same environment I usually do my makeup in, aka the bathroom, I feel like I'm doing everything really wrong, and when I see it for myself when I'm editing, I'll be like, Oh, what did you do to your face? <laughs> yep, that's something. Uh, nice. Oh, <laughs> look at much powder. <laughs> I seem to seem to have a little something on my nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I just made it like eight times worse. That's fine. Just dust it away. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I talk to myself when I'm doing my makeup anyway, because I am just that way inclined. So yeah, I apologize if this video isn't very riveting or anything, but I like watching people do their makeup. I feel like I can just do that sometimes. And even though I was gonna do my makeup for a video, 
I'm not really motivated to do it, which is a real shame because yesterday I was. When I was coming home from work and I just thought, you know what, save that for tomorrow when it's Saturday and you know, you have the time to do the things. And instead, Saturday's come around, I've had a lovely sleep in and then I've kind of thought, well, don't know if I feel like filming that video actually. So yeah, bit of a shame, but it happens sometimes. Oh, I'm making this quite smoky. I don't know if I meant to do that. Ah, uh, well, that also happens sometimes. And then the problem with eyeshadow is, of course, trying to get it the same on the other side. I don't know. Oh, that looks like a punch in the eye. A lot of people would see this and go, what are you doing to your eyes? It's so dark. I'm like, oh, this is what I do. And I've made it so much worse on this eye. <laughs> oh dear, what have you done? Ugh. My brow bone is definitely taller, no, nope. higher on this side than this side, so it's it's tricky. That's something I've learned about myself recently. Oh uh, yeah, let's go with that. I usually end up with this all underneath my eyes as well and on my eyelashes so that everything is sparkly and fabulous. I'm kind of okay with it. I love glitter. The liquid eyeliner portion of the video. I realize you probably can't see me right now, but this setup was always less than ideal. Oh good, I think I've like <sighs> made a splodge. Liquid eyeliner can be so stressful and I mean, you'd wonder why people want that stress in their life, but then when you do it and you're like, oh damn. I think I just messed that up massively. Let's try and fix it. Oh dear, made it worse. Uh, help. Help. Mm. <laughs> I had a cotton bud here to fix that tiny little thing. And I believe one of my cats must have come and stolen it because I can't find it. I don't know what this video is. This video is like, girl quietly puts makeup on while pretending that she has an audience of some kind that is interested in watching this as she messes up her face. That's a good title. Honestly. Apologies, my camera just cut out because my memory card's not that big. And uh, turns out this takes a little bit longer than I would have liked. <laughs> That's fine. So I got a cotton bud and just fixed that a little bit on my face. And I did try to blend this punch mark out of my cheekbone a little bit. Just so you know what I did. I'm not trying to pretend that it magically <laughs> fixed itself. <laughs> Seriously though, I wish I could have music on. I feel like... Bleh. That's a feeling. Yeah, so technically, this is the first video that I have filmed all year. Hmm. Because the first one I uploaded was actually filmed last year on my birthday. Well, day before. For my birthday. And uh, I only uploaded it last month. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, yeah. I said I've been busy and I don't like using that as an excuse because, as I say, I think you find time for things that you really want to do. So that's why, even though, so this is about three times now, but because I'm doing makeup and I get distracted, I'm not sure if I finish the train of thought. So if I've just repeated myself, I'm either going to edit this out or leave it in. Really, it's a 50-50 chance. <laughs> I felt so motivated yesterday to film this video and I said it would be the second video on my channel this year and now it's not because it's going to be this one. But I want to film it properly. I don't want to do it half assed like I will film it very soon because I do want to film it. Um, yeah, even though I'm not doing anything like super important and I'm not filming a video straight after this, there's, this would be like my filming a video makeup or possibly going out. It's certainly not my everyday makeup because I'm not even that motivated every day to do this. I still wanted to film something and just kind of be a bit more relaxed about it. And because I wasn't feeling too crash hot, I thought sometimes making myself look better does in fact make me feel better. And I don't know if that's a really healthy thing, but it's a thing nonetheless. And so, that's what I'm doing. I always feel like slightly naked face until I make my eyebrows. I create them. 
works of art, these eyebrows. <laughs> but honestly, I feel like all the times that I didn't do eyebrows and I think, what was your face doing? Your face must have been really sad. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or am I just spouting garbage? That's another 50-50 really. God damn it. I like dark, bold eyebrows. And if you don't, well, you might not like my eyebrows, but that's fine. Because <laughs> it's not your face. It's mine. That seems like a really obvious thing, but some people do not get that. Uh, eyebrows. Quite a personal choice, eyebrows, I believe. And I mean, that's fine. Again, it's on your face. You make the decisions, right? I honestly can't tell if my face is looking okay, but I think I'm feeling better about myself. So there you go. It's a bit too much of a bloody line. Not what I hoped for, but work with it. Just work with it. Yes. I like bold brows. That I do. Um, yeah, yes. Yes, I think so. I think they are done. Yay, eyebrows. I feel better already. Oh, by the way, the blog that I was talking about creating in two videos ago is still very much happening. I'm very excited. I have been kind of working on it in the background, but I haven't actually created it. I have been writing down all sorts of ideas for blog posts and getting very excited about it. I think I've come up with a name that I like and I'm going to stick with. I just need to create it, which is what I'm going to focus on tomorrow. And then hopefully it's just about designing and then writing the very first blog post. My goodness. I look forward to doing that at the same time, very nervous, but my, my blog will be functioning and running with, uh, within the next week, it will be March and I should have a blog. How exciting. Hopefully doing that and having that interaction will motivate me to do videos more too. I'm sure work will get busier and there'll be a couple of social things on, but I should have more time than I have done in the past two months because with birthday and Christmas and then New Year's and January and February for that matter have kind of been packed with all of these social, not obligations so to say, I have enjoyed myself immensely. I even had a wedding to go to and that was so incredibly beautiful. Such an amazing wedding. Yeah, it just seems like there's something on every single weekend. And I mean, if I really didn't want to do it, I wouldn't. But I have, so I did. And all of a sudden, it's the end of February. That's just how things have been going. Faces coming together. Have you been to a wedding recently? Or ever? Or how many? I love weddings. I think they're great. <laughs> that sounds so ingenuine. Disingenuine. Yes? My mind is kind of mush today. And I also think it's a real honour to be invited to a wedding to celebrate with them. This last one was a particularly wonderful one. Not a huge lipstick fan and I only have that one lip liner that's very much like a nude-ish colour. I would still wear it under any lip colour I decide to wear, which is more nude lipsticks. The occasional red. But then I decided to look at some darker ones because I thought it was fun play with makeup. I've been making jokes about how makeup is about <laughs> lying because that's what so many people say, like my goodness, get over it. And the other one uh, about making your face symmetrical. It's not either. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I mean, they could be bros, not twins. They're definitely not Siamese twins. I mean, if that's your thing, it's not my thing. That's what I should say. Pulling a face. Ugh, oh, I'm so judgmental. Already looks like I'm wearing lipstick, which is kind of what I love about lip liner. It's like, oh wow, I could just go with this. And then I'm just like, oh, you were going for this color. That's why you chose the lipstick. Delilah. <laughs> Delilah, get away from the lights. <laughs> Delilah, come on, move, baby. Baby, move. Did I do it okay? I think so. 
love this lip color. My goodness, it's so damn pretty. Yay, I'm looking better. And that's making me happy, which is probably not a good thing, but fuck it. Does. Ooh, don't know why I made that sound, but what am I doing now? What is this? Oh, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Wow. Linus. Uh. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy, but that's not how. Yeah, I think. Was this how the light was? It wasn't, was it? I'm leaving it there? Because otherwise, <laughs> Linus will knock it again. Hi, Delilah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't 100% know how to do highlighter. I should probably ask someone, but uh, I believe it's about here. Oh, damn. You just gotta your face and then you go highlight. Okay, I have to stop with the highlighter because I love it so much. So I could 100% stop here or I could apply my lashes. Do you know, as annoying as eyelashes are, I think they just make me feel so fucking fabulous that sometimes you just gotta give them a go. I've always sucked at eyelashes, like real bad. I've been kind of good, and then other times I've just, I've sucked really bad. So basically what I'm saying is, that's why I think I could mess it all up right now. But these eyelashes are so damn pretty and they make me feel amazing. The last time I put them on was at the wedding, which is also the first time, and they were very easy to put on, which was insane. Like, I was so surprised. I'm gonna see if I can do that again, and if I can't, well, maybe it was just a once-off thing. My camera died again. Uh, memory card, I mean, not, not battery. And as you can see, I've put my eyelash on one eye because I didn't realize, yay. But it was super easy, it went on the first try, so, I'm obviously not going to have just one eyelash on, I am going to put the other one. I did put this one a little bit further in the corner of my eye than I intended, but anyway. I'm going to do this one now, hopefully. It's as easy. Oh goodness me. Oh dear. Did I just do it? Oh, it's so far in the corner of my eye. <laughs> I whiffed it, just as I'm saying how easy it is. Of course I messed it up. Ah! Is that on now? I don't think it's very good. I really don't, no. It's not good. You may not be able to tell like I can, but there is a gap between my eyelashes and the fake lashes. This one, there is no gap, but it's too far in. This one is positioned better, like it's a further out the corner, which is good, but the gap is there and I can see it and it's annoying me. But anyway, they are so much easier than any of the other eyelashes I've ever tried before, ever. And um, specifically, thanks to Emily Canham for telling me about these eyelashes. Other people have used them, other YouTubers, and I have taken note, but for some reason it didn't click until all of a sudden I was there at Sephora and I was like, holy shit, they are the eyelashes Emily uses. I'm getting some right now. I think that this is my makeup done. <laughs> I think that this was what I was trying to do. I have eyebrows and lips and highlight and eyelashes and yeah, this is basically it. I guess I should take my hair down. This is just looking like a mess. Probably should have left it tied up, hey? So I think that this was all the video was going to be. <laughs> I had a few things I wanted to talk about. The main aim of this video was to sit down and do my makeup because I wanted to emulate some of the videos that I like to watch and also because I really wanted to film a video and do something and I did not want it to be as scripted as my videos usually are. Not that I write a script by any means, I write dot points for what I want to cover but I'm usually a lot more together before I turn the camera on, which I certainly wasn't today for this video. But it's good, it's what, it's what I wanted. I feel a little bit more together by the end, but not really. <laughs> My hair is such a mess. 
anyway, um, I wanted to talk about my blog, which I did and I'm very excited about. So hopefully when that's put together and I've got a couple of blog posts, I might make a little video just letting you know about it. And overall, I basically just wanted to have a sit down and chat because I mean, if you can't sit on your floor on a Saturday night and film yourself putting makeup on while blabbering incoherently and then you're gonna edit it and upload it to YouTube, what can you do? Now why ask you? I'm thinking that I would like to do a couple more videos like this because as I've said about eight times by now, I like watching those videos so I would like to make those videos and maybe the more I do the better I get. If not, I mean they're gonna be as bad as this and you'll know then not to watch them. I guess I better finish this video then so that I can edit it. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please remember to give it that thumbs up and I will hopefully see you very soon with a couple of new videos and maybe even see you over on my blog. How exciting! Bye!